Hi there everyone, I'm going to show you a little science experiment you can be doing at home. Now this is inspired by a sycamore tree uh, on our school grounds because um, the seeds of a sycamore tree they spin as they fall down and that's to help them spread so they can make more sycamore trees. So what we're going to do today, um, I'm going to make some paper spinners that spin in the same way as sycamore seeds do. So what you need, you need some paper or card, you need to cut it into shape a bit like this. Okay? And if you google it I'm sure you can find lots of templates online. At the moment it looks a bit like a paintbrush. So we've got a wide bit here, a little thin bit here. And what you do is you need to cut down to make the wings and fold them either side like that. Now what you need to do, you're just going to drop them and it will spin. The best way to make them spin though is to add some paper clips here or something else to weight, so maybe plasticine, blue sack, play-doh, something like that. And what happens is if you stand up and drop it, you should see it spinning. So let's have a go. Just like that. Now, for an extra challenge, you could try making that out of different materials, see if it spins more or less. You could add more paper clips, more weight, see does the more weight mean it spins more or less? Does it fall to the ground quicker or more slowly? You could also try different lengths of the wings, do longer wings. How does that affect the spinning? So there's lots of different things you can try at home and investigate with that. Now I think seeds are really clever. So that sycamore seed does that. That is amazing. There's some other things about seeds as well. So my challenge to you would be to research some more about seeds. Because seeds need to disperse, need to spread around so they can make new plants. So we've seen the sycamore seeds that spin. There are also some seeds that have little hooks on to grab onto animal fur. We have some seeds that blow in the wind, like dandelion seeds. We even got some seed pods that explode and pass the seeds around and blow them away. Also, you'll notice in, when you're eating an apple or when you're eating some berries, they've got the seeds inside fruit. So on those fruit trees, the way they spread their seeds, that animal, often a bird comes and has a little nibble, and then, you probably guessed it, the bird flies away and eventually poos it out and it lands on the floor. So plants even use animal poo to spread their seeds. So if you'd like an extra, extra challenge, why not research some other seeds and how they disperse and how they spread around. That's it for now. See you later.